Tip number one, get familiar with the track before you go there. Knowing the basics of the track before you have even been there massively helps you. Go on YouTube and look for onboard videos. Most car tracks have onboards of equally all the gear but no idea grease monkeys that strap the GoPro to their helmet to hopefully make that juicy YouTube money. Try to avoid those videos though and look for a pro driver. Anyways, if you cannot find any videos, maybe take a look on the track website. Usually you can find a map of the track or at least some pictures. So doing just a little bit of prep work before you go out can already give you a slight edge over your friends. By the way guys, why should you believe me? Who the hell am I? You don't know me. Well, for the past 7 years I've been doing this. Tip number 2, learn the racing line. The racing line is literally the most important thing in karting, and the most new people get it horribly wrong. They think that covering the shortest distance is the fastest, but this is actually only partly true. The other part of being fast is having a high average cornering speed. You could achieve this by taking the most outside line possible, but by doing this you cover so much extra distance that you lose all of that extra time again. You can get the best of both worlds by using the racing line. You start it on the outside of the track, hit the inside of the corner which is called the apex, and then smoothly let the car flow out to the outside. But if you enter a sequence of corners, things are a little bit different. Usually after a sequence of corners comes a straight, and it is important to get the best possible exit you can off of the last corner of this sequence. So use the other corners in the sequence to set the car up right for that last corner. Let's look at an example from my own racing. Here we enter a right hand hairpin which immediately flows into a left hand hairpin. You can see here that instead of letting the car flow out to the outside, I stay kind of in the middle of the track so that I have a better line for the next corner. Usually the feeling of where you should position your card comes naturally. And anyway guys, by the way, if you want even more tips or maybe some advice about karting, I would suggest joining my Discord server. This is a community full of kart racers, race fans and sim racers and I'm sure you'll feel right at home in there. Tip number 3. Be smooth as fuck. Smoothness is everything, not just in karting but also with the ladies. And if you want a tutorial on how to be smooth with the ladies, let me know in the comments. Ah. Anyways, in karts you need to be super smooth with your steering inputs, because karts have a huge amount of grip compared to their power. So every steering input you make slows the car down. Even for faster cars like the ones I drive, this is true. Let's take a look at another example. Here we're riding on board with me at Karting Gang in Belgium. Coming up is a left hander which is full throttle and I want you to listen to the engine. You could literally hear that the revs dropped, and that's only because of the steering. I did not lift off at all. So, be smooth and try to make as little steering inputs as possible. Let's take another look at some examples from my own karting. Pay attention to how little steering input I actually give. Also guys, if you want to see more of these onboards, consider following my Instagram. My username is on screen right now. Tip number 4. Be smooth as fuck. Braking edition. Smoothness is really a recurring theme, right? Well, yeah, because it's kind of important. Braking is no exception to this rule. My mechanic slash driver coach always tells me that braking is the most important thing in karting. But before you can be smooth with the brake pedal, just make sure that you actually use the brake pedal. Some people think it is faster to not brake at all, but this is absolutely not true. If you don't brake, you'll enter the corner too quickly and your back end will start sliding and your exit speed will be all gone. So, when you brake for a corner, don't just stamp on the pedal. You'll create unrest in the car, heat up the rear tires way too much or worst of all, spin. Now that you know what you shouldn't do, here's what you should do. When approaching the corner, brake hard initially. Here it is okay if your tires lock up just a little bit. Then slowly release the brake as you turn into the corner. Ideally you want to brake until the apex and then get on the throttle right as you go off the brake. When you nail this technique, you know you'll be quick. Let's take a look at another example. Look at my feet and see how I do it. So, brake hard initially, then slightly come off the brake and hold it to the apex. Then while you're at the apex, release the brake and immediately get on the power. If you made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. It's free, you'll never miss a new video and you can always change your mind. Tip number 5. Don't drift. Don't. Yes, it may look cool and you'll probably feel like the next Sean Boswell, but it's actually very slow. The tires are only designed to go one way and that's forward. So when you start drifting, the tires and the engine are working against one another and because cars have a low power compared to their grip, the tires will win and you will lose speed. I mean, if you want to go karting just for drifting, then sure, go ahead and fulfill your childhood anime dreams. But if you want to be quick, don't drift. It's real life guys, not Mario Kart. Still don't believe me? Watch how much the kart ahead pulls away when I go sideways. Bye, have a great time! By the way guys, if you want a professional karting suit for a cheap price, then consider checking out my sponsor K Racing. This black OMP suit is really an affordable suit which is especially made for karting and it's at an affordable price. And it gets better guys, because if you use the code RED20 on checkout you will get a 20% discount on it. 
Check the pinned comment for the full details. Tip number 6. Plan your overtakes. Overtaking is another thing that is really hard, so it is important to plan your moves. Ideal spots to go for the overtakes are hard breaking zones and corners with a weird entry line. When you are behind someone on a straight and approach a hard breaking zone, try to move alongside them and break at the same time or a little bit later. Make sure that you actually make the corner though, because if you break too late you will end up either in the wall or they'll do the old switcheroo, both of which are very embarrassing. Now with corners that require a weird entry line, overtaking is a lot easier. Take a look at this one. The racing line requires you to move all the way to the right hand side of the track. So if you're following someone, you don't even have to do anything. Just go straight on and they'll move out of the way for you. Now guys, if you're looking at these onboards and are curious about what I do, then I'd consider checking out this playlist. Here you find videos about my own adventures as a pro driver. This video however is done and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.